hello welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and i hope you stay today i'm bringing to you the famous caribbean rice and peas without wasting time let's just get started so i would like to soak my beans overnight these are dry beans so you know they are very hard so what i do is i just put them in water and leave them overnight make sure you pour the first water away just in case you have some leaves and some unwanted particles in there so it's the next morning and i will just put this on fire i'll put it on medium flame and let it cook for about 30 minutes since i soaked it overnight it is going to be easier to cook it and soften it the next day after boiling this is what we have here i'll just set it aside for later make sure you don't get rid of the water because you're going to use it in cooking the rice i'll put a pan on fire and come in with some oil i'll come in with some chopped onions and let them fry on medium fire till it turns brown so basically i'm trying to infuse the oil with the onion flavor when the onion is cooked enough i'll just get them out of the oil i like to wash my rice before using it i've got here some bastimati rice it's been washed very well here i'm using about two cups of rice I'll stir fry this on medium fire for about a minute. I'll add some salt to taste. Now I'll come in with my cooked beans. I must say there is no right or wrong amount. If you want more, just use more. And if you want less, just use less. I'll be using the water from the cooked beans as well. This will give it some, you know, kind of reddish brown color. I'll give it a good mix. I'll cover this up and let this cook for about five minutes. It's been after about five minutes, I'll come in with my wooden ladle and give it a good mix. I'll cover it up and let it cook for five more minutes. It's been after five minutes. I will check on it again, and as you can see, it's not very well cooked. So I will just cover it up this time. I wouldn't add any more water. I will just let the steam cook it up. I will leave it for about six minutes more. So finally finally it is ready as you can see it is soft the beans are cooked and the rice is very well cooked i'll just put off the fire so our rice and peas is ready you definitely need to give this a try this goes great with some fish sauce or even beef sauce I must say this alone is one of my favorite vegan recipes so this is it and i hope i did help you i hope you are going to give this a try if you do let me know how it comes up for you 
If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.